How are we doing guys? We are going to take a trip this morning out to Tooele, Utah. Hometown where I grew up, where I spent most of my life. And uh, I'm going to show you where I came from. We're going to go to the house I grew up in. We're going to go to the first house that I uh, purchased when I was 18 years old, cash. And going to go to my junior high where I knocked a lot of people out. And uh, it's going to show you guys where I came from before we go to where I am now. Yeah, I never, ever, ever, ever thought I'd leave my hometown, Twila. Still love it. First year, I was like, fuck this, we're going back, we're going back. And then I finally realized it was nice to have good places to eat. But it's crazy, at first I was going out here every week when I moved to Draper finally. And now I might show up out here once a quarter. And this is one of the only cool things you'll see the whole way out here is we actually do have salt air. That's been there my whole life. So on your view, driving from Salt Lake, about the only thing to look at is that one building, just salt air. That's about it. You know, it's funny what a lot of people do is they come out here and get their fucking family pictures in this absolute shithole beach. But it looks like it's the nicest beach ever in pictures. Which is awesome. I love the building, but it's, you definitely get eaten by bugs. The one thing I absolutely loved about living in Twila was you get done with work. So you work, you know, you work your full day. Driving to work, you have time to prep for work as you have that 35, 40 minute drive. And on the way home, you have that 35 to 40 minute time to prep back for your family to tran you know, transition from work all the way back to your, your family time. So when you hit the door, you're, you're ready to have family time. Instead of, if you're always in the city, it's hard to go from one to the other. Where this one always gave me that 35, 40 minute drive to give me time to go back to changing to the other person, which is fucking awesome. So we'll probably uh, swing by the old tanning salon the hell is it even called? Isn't that weird? After all them years, you forget. It was the number one tanning salon in the state of Utah. Ultimate tanning! What's up? So what happened exactly was my uh, daughter's mother got pregnant. And I says, you know what? I want to make sure you are blessed. So I'm going to give you, you... You can take your pick and I want to help set your life up for you. And so I says, you know, tell me your dream. I'll pay for college for four years. I'll do whatever you really truly want, whatever is your biggest goal and dream. You know, I'll buy you a business. I'll help you run it. I'll do whatever. And she says, you know what? My dream is to own a tanning salon. So I says, okay, I'll be back. And I literally came to the tanning salon right here and walked in and said, hey, who owns this place? And they wouldn't give me his name. I said, can you give him a call? So he actually gave the guy a phone call and he was literally two doors down eating lunch at that point. So I walked in and I says, hey, I'm gonna buy your tanning salon. He goes, well, it's not for sale. I says, well, I didn't ask. So I, I'm gonna buy it because I need to take care of my uh, daughter's mom. So. I left lunch that day, I wrote him a check, and I ended up taking over his entire business right that second. And I was like, by the way, what time did you open? He's like, 8 a.m. I said, okay, so your employees are not yours anymore. Now they're mine. And we ended up taking over the tanning salon. It was called Ultimate Tanning in Twilly, Utah. And it became the number one grossing and netting tanning salon in the state of Utah. So what I did with that was right across the street is Back in the day, it was Gold's Gym. And so I got a hold of Gold's and I says, hey, let's do a collaboration where we will let people tan in my place and we'll help each other out. And so if you was a member at Gold's Gym, you got to come to the number one tanning salon in the state and tan. So it became a huge win-win for both of us. And I had that tanning salon for many years. It became the number one hangout in Utah, especially in Tooele. Basically, I would walk in there and I had no clue who was working ever because all my employees just absolutely loved being there. 
And so you'd walk in at any given time and have 30 to 50 people. If you have a line out the door, it was definitely the place to be. So it brings back some pretty dang good memories out here in Tula. Okay guys, so this is where it all started. This is the house I was uh, born and raised in. <clears throat> Literally was born at the hospital, which is right behind this house. And this is where I lived until I was 18 years old. We'll go to that house next. I actually did some pretty cool things for my mom though. We ended up, I helped do all the pavers here, put a new roof on it, did all the concrete and stuff just to make it a little bit better for my mom. I've asked her many, many times if I could uh, actually build her a new home. And she says, absolutely not. This house is all the, this house means the world to her. Her favorite church is right behind it. And the cemetery that holds my father that passed away when I was one years old is right behind that. You know, what's crazy though. Uh, so my dad dies all them years ago. And so of course my mom has a place where she's going to go. And then I was like, man, mom, we got to have a stepdad. I go, where the hell is he going to go? And she's, oh, he'll, he'll be fine. So I actually bought the plot next to it, and I have the, a few plots right here too, to try to keep everyone close, which is kind of how life should be, yeah, right? Kind of crazy coming back here all the time and looking. I wish I could have got to know my dad better, but everything happens for a reason. They needed him up in heaven. So I'm making the Bowen name stand out here. Okay, so we just went and visited my house where my mother actually still lives the house where I grew up in, and now we are heading to the uh, very first house I ever purchased. I purchased this house cash at 18 years old. And so it's pretty sad for me now. I watch kids that are 40 and never bought a house yet. I bought my first house when I was 18 years old. It's not fancy. It's not nothing fancy, so don't get excited. But uh, we're heading there. We'll be there in just a minute. Okay guys, so the first house I ever owned myself, I actually paid cash for this house when I was 18 years old. And it look, it's right here, right on 6th Street in Tooele, Utah. And uh, had some great memories there. I actually built a garage uh, behind it that was bigger than the house. And then I actually, all I really cared about in the backyard was having a spot for my gazebo and hot tub. It was definitely the place to be at 18. That was, we had some great, 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 great times in that house right there. So times have changed quite a bit, but I will never forget where I came from. And the first house I ever purchased in my life on my own was right there. So basically right here at Tooele Junior High is where I realized how good of a sales guy I really was. So in seventh grade, I started selling lots of drugs stuff like that. I would actually break it up on my mom's kitchen table. She didn't know that part back then. Um, and it's where I learned how to be a sales guy. So basically I would go buy, you know, four or five pounds. I'd break them down to ounces. You couldn't buy ever go straight to me. You had to go to different people. So I would only sell ounces. And then if you wanted to get in your quarters or eights or even dime bags back in the day, you had to actually go through other people. But this is kind of where the whole entrepreneur stuff started for me in life was right here at Twill Junior High School. And then every single day at lunch or after school, I would either fight right here in the parking lot or we'd walk across the park across the street and we would we'd fight. And basically, I mean, if you times that, I've been in thousands and thousands and thousands of fights. Still have never lost one yet, by the way. But uh, this is how, where my whole life started right here. So from here guys, let's go ahead. We've showed you where I basically was born and raised. We've shown you a few houses I lived in. Now we're going to leave Tooele. We're going to go back into uh, Salt Lake and we will show you where we are now. Life has changed quite a bit and we will take you on the adventure. Let's go. Welcome. it basically it's definitely the number one home in the state of utah and we just keep making it more and more and more amazing every day so i keep finding new projects to do with it and it's been it's gonna be pretty dang cool 
So guys, I think let's uh, go ahead and let's go on in and we'll show you best view in the state of Utah by far guaranteed is up on our party pad up on top. So we will show you some amazing shit. So basically one of the reasons why I purchased this house was my daughters have winter birthdays. And so we wanted to have a really good place to have all the family parties and all the other good parties and stuff like that. So I don't think you get much better than the indoor pool for stuff like that. All these doors open. And so if you want to feel like you're outside also in the summer, then you still have all that also. Okay guys, I'm gonna take you to the wine cellar, which is probably the coolest wine cellar you've ever seen in your life. This one is actually dynamited into the mountain. So let's go check it out. So as you can see, we're inside the mountain right now. They uh, dynamited every piece to make it absolutely flawless. And they say, you know, it always stays the same temperature in here. And so it's absolutely perfect for aging your wine, stuff like that. So a lot of the wine in the wine room is actually my personal wine. We actually made this as a team at the winery. We actually crushed the grapes. We did the whole thing. We did the yeast, we did it all. And this one here actually won for the uh, state of Nevada that this was the uh, number one wine that year made. So it definitely is good stuff and it definitely has kept the wine perfect. So that was the pool area. Let's go ahead and take the elevator. We'll take that up to the party pad on top. How's that sound? Well, welcome to the uh, rooftop party pad. Basically, definitely the number one view in the state of Utah for sure. You can basically see from the uh, University of Utah all the way to downtown, all the way to Magna, all the way wrapped around to by Draper. Land-wise, basically my land goes, you know, all the way up past that rock, goes all the way down over here. So we've definitely very private. And the good part is we have lots of guns to shoot the bad people. So. Uh, this is where we, this is where the Bowens will be, hopefully the rest of our lives. Okay guys, thanks so much for joining us today. I hope you enjoyed the uh, story of the life, stuff like that. Uh, we're finishing here at the Bowen Castle. And if it's really yours, there's a lot of fake fucks in this world as you guys are learning. Basically, even people who say, I have a mountain. No, you don't, I have a fucking mountain. And basically, I, there's a few people who have a 4,000 square foot little teeny house that say it's a castle. If your name is not on your motherfucking shit, it's probably not yours, okay? I have my jet that we, we take places. It's actually mine, it has my name on it. It's Ryan Bowens. I don't rent them to be fake like all you other fuckers do. If you want real shit, follow me. If you want fake shit, when you're looking for coaches, guys, find someone that's actually really, truly fucking done something. Started a business, finished a business. You know, I, I've done this over a dozen times, but find real people. Quit following the fake fucks that are full of shit. Fucking gets old, guys. Fuck!